what's up it's such a chill notebook here and i first just want to apologize for the bad lighting i am currently living in a new house right now just temporarily and i have my chinchillas in the basement there is literally just a light bulb above their cage and a window right there but it's still really difficult to see and it's enough light for them it's actually the best lighting it doesn't bother them during the day or anything but it's just really bad for filming so i will try to get a better setup but for now i wanted to get this video out for you and today i'm going to be filming a video on five dangerous chinchilla products i really feel like it's important to talk about specific things sometimes just so that you guys have an idea of some things that you should just really not allow your chinchilla to have or let them be around also merlin's kind of getting antsy because i blocked him up here down there it's just way too dark and he's gonna go down there and it's just gonna be a mess let's just jump right into the video the first dangerous chinchilla product to avoid is an exercise ball i'll be putting a picture of it on the screen so you can see but basically it's just a big round plastic ball that people put their chinchillas in their rabbits in their rats hamsters whatever and they let them roam around the house and a lot of people do it because it's convenient for them and they don't have to watch their chinchilla you know they can just let them go pretty much wherever they want without getting hurt but the reality is that chinchillas are going to easily overheat in these exercise balls they are going to easily because chinchillas cannot sweat so when they're trapped inside there you may think the air vents the slits or the holes cut into the ball is going to help but it's really not and your chinchilla is going to get so overheated and panicky like just imagine they're stuck in this ball they can't get out it's just such a bad experience and i highly recommend that you stay away from them also they are plastic so if your chinchillas choose them on the inside that's dangerous for them it's very toxic so i recommend that you guys just stay away from that it's not even humane like if you want to let your chinchilla out the whole point is to let them have fun it's to let them free range to roam around it's not to trap them in a plastic ball that's really hot and scary and they you know, they don't even know where they are um, we used to have one of these for my old chinchillas and we thought it was the cutest thing of course i was uneducated and it wasn't real and it was my chinchilla before him and the poor guy he's probably just like freaking out the whole time kind of like <laughs> he is merlin is so dramatic right now he's acting like i just trapped him into something okay let's see if i give him his dust bath if he'll just calm down okay all right so the second dangerous chinchilla product is a plastic hideout so you can buy these at amazon on pet smarts pet Co's, whatever and they're pretty cheap to buy however these are not safe for chinchillas mostly because plastic is quite it keeps the heat inside it traps the heat more than wooden huts do and they additionally are also made of plastic which if you guys don't know by now it's very toxic for chinchillas some people keep plastic in their cage because they're they say their chinchilla doesn't ever chew it but honestly they could develop the habit overnight and then just chew a bunch you never know and most chinchillas do have a tendency to destroy it and ingest it which is very dangerous for them um, plastic is very hard material so when it gets inside their digestive systems and their organs it could really like scratch rupture and destroy their bodies so plastic hideouts just stay away from them they also produce they can also get really um, moist inside and get mold in there which is just not a good idea this is not a high possibility obviously unless it's really humid in the room but it is still a possibility with the animal breathing and sleeping inside there so just make sure you avoid plastic cuts in general the third product is paper bedding or paper toys a lot of time i see people with chinchillas that have care fresh bedding which is made out of paper and stuff like that is not safe stay away from it if you're going to use loose bedding use kiln dried pine shavings or aspen wood shavings those are the safest um, chinchillas if they eat that paper bedding it's going to get in their stomach and clot up in a big wad and it can like expand and make it really difficult they can choke on it as well they can't breathe properly if it's stuck in their throat it's just overall very messy too and just not a good idea for them chinchillas are very naughty rambunctious creatures and you never know when they will be ingesting something so i would just stay away from paper bedding in general and this goes along with paper toys as you can see this is a toy that i gave my chinchillas and it had paper on top of it but i cut it off before i gave it to them so they couldn't chew it and if i notice that this toy is getting a little bit chew it up around the edges i will get rid of it but just stay away from paper it's not safe for chinchillas and the fourth thing is most treats chinchilla treats at pet stores so you'll go and you'll see a lot of yogurt drops you'll see those honey stick things a lot of packaged treat as well katie has some just stay away from them as much as you can try to feed your chinchilla whole ingredients as treats i will link a video down below called healthy chinchilla treats for you guys to check out but 
Basically what I mean by this is plain rolled oats or dried goji berries or barley grouts or there's a lot, there's a lot, and I will link them down below that video so you can get a better idea of what I'm saying, but just try to stay away from prepackaged treats. I know my mom likes to buy the chinchillas, the oxbow baked treats, but as much as you can, even avoid those, just give them whole treats that are healthy for them and that are safe, and never buy treats from the pet stores without doing your research into it first. And the fifth thing is small or mesh wheels. As you guys know, a chinchilla's wheel should be at least 16 inches, 16 or 15 inches in diameter. And the reason for this is because when chinchillas run with that size of diameter, he is so dramatic right now, um, their spines will not be bent. But if you have a smaller wheel, their spines will be getting too bent and they can de develop spinal injuries or spinal cord injuries, stuff like that that you want to avoid when you have chinchillas. They're very small, fragile animals. So always have a wheel that is 15 or 16 inches in diameter and also make sure that it is not mesh because mesh is a kind of material that looks like this cage bars except there's bars going this way as well. And no matter how small you think it is, chinchillas can get their paws or their toes stuck in there and it's happened before that their paws and their toes, their toes especially, have been ripped off before which is a really bloody, messy ordeal that could even die from it if they lose enough blood so just stay away from mesh wheels in general or wheels that are too small for them i wouldn't even get the plastic ones because most of those at the pet stores are way too small and they are also really bad quality they'll just topple over or they'll break or whatever and your chinchillas will chew plastic so i have the chin spin down there and i can link it down below if you guys want to buy one um, i've done chin spin videos before where i've talked about it but there's also some options like silver surfers on etsy um, cheaper ones as well i've never bought a cheaper wheel but i have heard of them so you guys just have to look them up but make sure that you're not getting smash wheels or ones that are too small so that pretty much concludes this video you guys i i'm again i'm so sorry for the lighting i will try to fix something up by the next time i film because this is really bad and i realize that not a lot of people like to look at bad quality but it is what it is um we're in the process of moving again across the country so currently we're still in my old town and we're living at a temporary place so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video